Your father hasn't declined to any medical intervention. He didn't know. I just found out recently. When? Very recently, like when you just said it. He was diagnosed months ago. We're a close family. Really nice of you to come be with your dad. How old are you, Teddy? 33. There's something too old and too young about you at the same time, you know what I mean? No, I don't. So, how have you been doing? Aside from the cancer, terrific. What about you? Well, I'm an unpublished loser. How long do you plan to stay? So one of us just kills the other. Mute. You don't have to say the mute. word mute. Just pressing the button. Mute. Mute. So, Tuesday. Dad's mental and physical health it is literally dependent on whether the Sox win or lose. Sox lost again. So, I am creating a safe zone where the Sox can't lose. I've even got the boy who delivers papers in this bubble. Go Sox! Curse over cancer. That way, it gives us some time to, you know, keep him healthy until his socks get it together. Are you going to get dressed? You up tight naked in front of your father? Just a perfectly respectable break you got there, son. Austin is up over the Yankees. Good morning. Hey, kids, remember my adopted hey. daughter, Ted? I'm not adopted. <laughs> I looked back upon my life and thought that what I've done hasn't amounted to much. I see that I wasn't thinking about your mother and you. Thinking about the socks. Well, we deserve more from you. He's been a victim. He's been a scapegoat. Now he just needs you. Don't let me die, Ed. Don't let me die. Come with me. Do you smell that? It smells like baseball. There are a million ways to tell a life story. As a comedy, as a tragedy, as a fairy tale. Where baseball teams keep you alive. He's trying to tell you his story in his way. Baseball is the only game that death is jealous of. Baseball defeats time. Only baseball has the possibility of going on forever. This is getting to be your neck of the woods, outside Boston. No, I've never even been there, actually. What? Why are you a Sox fan? I like rubbing people the wrong way.